Hi, my name is Dave, and today I'm going to show you this wonderful, charming Tinsley refractor, 3 inch refractor from the 1940s. And this is one of the oldest telescopes I have. It's a classic, uh, but it is not easy to use. Let me explain why. First of all, the mount, although it's sufficient, is very rickety, very wobbly. This is uh, real flimsy. I don't know if you can tell how much that's shaking, but it's not at all sturdy. This, this casting up here is absolutely elegant. I think it's beautiful. And that's uh, worth the telescope just to have this casting as far as I'm concerned. I think it's so elegant. The telescope itself is also quite elegant. It's a, a 3 inch f15. The optics are very very good uh, but it is hard to use. This telescope is very difficult to use. It does not come supplied with a star diagonal. The eyepieces here are uh, one inch in diameter. That is slightly bigger than the 965 standard uh, uh, smaller type eyepieces. So it's, it's a very inconvenient size and extremely difficult. This telescope also does not have a focuser. There's no focusing mechanism. The way you focus it is simply by sliding this tube. It can be done, but boy, it's a pain. It doesn't have a finder. Uh, very, very tricky to use this telescope. So using this telescope, effectively, if you're looking at anything at any uh, high elevation, you're crawling around down on the ground trying to look up like so. And it is primitive. It's a very uncomfortable experience to try and use this telescope. It is nevertheless a very charming telescope and I'm delighted to have it. Uh, let's take a close-up look at this telescope and some of the features. This is the tripod spreader which is actually quite pretty, very ultra simple. Just a bolt here and some straps of brass. Uh, very nice, not extremely sturdy. These rather flimsy legs have apparently broken on a number of occasions, uh, or at least a couple. There's one repair here and there's another similar repair on the other side. Here's a picture of the mount as I received it. It was clearly broken. Also the cradle was broken and I uh, drilled a couple holes, put some steel in there, used some JB Weld to attach it together. Nice and strong. And here's the finished result. I think when you look at the actual telescope you can't even tell. And now we come up to this beautiful casting. I think you can see how elegant this is. As far as I can determine it's made of steel. Uh, it's quite strong. At least the, the basic casting is. Uh, and I think it's quite elegant, quite lovely kind of old-world craftsmanship. Okay, let's come on up here to this. Here's the dew shield. This is also brass. It's attached with screws to the tube. It's a lovely sort of grayish color. One of those colors that you wouldn't think would be nice, but well, at least it's probably in the eye of the beholder because I think it's beautiful. Here is the, I don't know if I should call it a focuser. I suppose it's a focuser. It's a draw tube type focuser. So there's the focuser. This slides in and out. If you twist while you're sliding, it's well enough made that it can you can actually get a pretty precise fit on it. The same is true with the eyepieces themselves. I think that's also quite elegant. Its form is delightful to me. Hope you've enjoyed my little tour of this charming Tinsley 3-inch refractor. Thank you.